This is plenty of country down here in this part of Texas. Rugged, wide open, handsome, lazy, and itching to be tamed. A wild kind of place, maybe, but in the year of a Lord, 1855, even the Indian tribes was willing to stay peaceful. That is, until a black cat got here. Then it wasn't so peaceful anymore. There was something special about Black Kid. He'd had some book learning in American schools because he was half red man and half white man. Only the way Colonel Robert E. Lee said it, Black Kid was half Indian and half devil. But to Mrs. Wilson, her son Danny, and the United States of America cavalry, I reckon he was all devil. And now every army post in Texas knowed that Black Cat was hiding out somewhere in the Puerto Cedas Mountains, further north, about 50 miles from the Rio Grande. That's why Colonel Robert E. Lee sent for me and the lieutenant to come to headquarters at Fort Mason. Only I was left outside sharpening my boy, while the lieutenant was inside getting his ears blistered good. You don't have much enthusiasm for the assignment, Lieutenant Elliot. No, sir. You're quite frank. I don't know much about being diplomatic, Colonel Lee. I never got to West Point. <laughs> Perhaps if you had, I wouldn't have sent for you. Ever since Black Cat broke his Seminoles out of the Florida reservation and made his way into Texas, we've been trying to find him. I know, sir. You also know he's somewhere in the Puerto Cetas Mountains. I've heard it. Lieutenant, you lived with Black Cat when you were a boy. You know his habits, and you know how he fights. I want Black Cat, and you can get him. Is that all, sir? No. You can't possibly have any sympathy left for that half-breed. Not after the atrocities he's committed up north. Black Cat's fighting for his life, sir. Only he's going about it the wrong way. He can't win. Then you admit he's wrong. I'm also the wrong man to send to Fort Clark, sir. Oh. Is it you object to serving under Colonel Hanna, or is his daughter your personal objection? I see you've heard of the incident. Colonel Hanna is an army man above everything else. He'll give you full cooperation, Elliot. You say so, sir. Fort Clark is the closest outpost to the Puerto Cetas Mountains. Orders are already on their way to Fort Stoddard to have your men join you at Clark. Catching Black Cat is your responsibility. The entire region won't be safe until Black Cat is either dead or back on the reservation. That's all, Elliot. Thank you, sir. One more thing. Susan Hanna is now engaged to another man. We don't want any more trouble on this score. It's said in that territory, Colonel, that I'm half Indian and half white, like Black Cat. Let's just say that Miss Hanna didn't know which half she wanted. You won't have any trouble with me, sir. Sir, he should be clapped into irons for talking like that to a superior officer. You want manners or black cat? You gonna do some talking to me, Cam, or you gonna mope clear to Fort Clark? What's the matter? Are you getting curious about Susan Hanna, too? I might if I was a heap younger. It ain't often Colonel's daughters get to be that good looking. Well, I'll be glad you're not younger or good looking. I know some women in my time. Never learned but one thing about them. Them as don't know what they want is poison. Of course, with an ordinary coot like you, uh, Gail might have some real romantic ideas one minute and be scared death here the next. I'm telling you, Cubby, I don't want to hear any more about Susan Hanna. Now go to sleep. Just same, you was taking it out on your horse this afternoon like he was the fella Susan was engaged to. Horse won't last a Fort Clark that way. Show's all over me, eh? When the engine wants a squaw, he takes it. You want Susan bad, Cam. 
But maybe you're blaming her for not making up your mind whether you're going to act like an engine or not. Now, look, Cubby. You've said your piece. Now, let's forget it. This here knife belonged to Jim Bowie himself. I found it in the Alamo, covered with dirt and so rusted up. It looked like it weren't fit for nothing else but the trash heap. Now look at her, shining like a new penny. Polishing done it. A heap of polishing. Just telling you in case you think things twixt you and Susan Hannah is too rusty. You better stick to whiskey. Won't be any more fresh water we hit the Lippin' Village. I was hoping you'd think of that. Here's to money, love, and keeping your scalp. That must change to any of them in the army. <sighs> Nothing left. Not a living thing. Somebody sure didn't like the lip hot. Seminole arrow. That one looks like he's been shot. Guns, too. That more trouble than you figured? Yeah. Here's his old black cat don't like nobody, white or red. It wasn't just an attack. This was a good-sized village. I wonder where they could have gone. It ain't like a Seminole to take prisoners. Black Cat would have all he could do to feed his own people in these mountains. Yeah, but all villages don't just disappear in the air. This one did. The Lipron's been friendly with the whites. Reports I got, they've been selling corn and meal to Fort Clark. We ain't no more than about 25 miles from Fort Clark now. Occur to you that Black Cat's pretty strong to be hitting that close? Yeah. Fire talk. They've spotted us. Then this ain't healthy territory. There's the answer. That would be Black Cat's camp. Devil Pass? Can't be. We just come through there. We didn't see nothing. No tracks, cook fire, there's just horses, nothing. Well, he's there. I don't know just where, but he's down there. How in blazes did we... Side of a blind gopher. Should have fitted him with spectacles. They're gonna run us down.
Reckon neither of us ever expected to hear pretty a horn music unless Gabriel was doing the tooth. Of course, we didn't know it was going to be one of them spit and polish captains that kept the hides in one piece. Here we was coming to save the academy boys and black cat, and here they was saving us. Captain Phil Dudley. <laughs> Thanks, Captain. At your service, Lieutenant Elliot. We were on patrol. Looks like some of Black Cat's braves didn't think we should get to Fort Clark. And you think Black Cat knows his brother's in the territory? Maybe the captain has more proof than I have that I'm Black Cat's brother. I don't think so, Lieutenant. If you men will mount up, we'll see that you get to Fort Clark without any further interruptions. Sure, Captain. Elliot. Miss Hannah. Lieutenant, when you get through with Colonel Hannah, you and I had better talk. Just stay out of my way, Dudley, and I'll stay out of yours and Susan's. Nice, friendly place you got here, Captain. Lieutenant Elliott, sir. All right, Sergeant. Glad to have you with us again, Lieutenant. Thank you, Colonel. My orders, sir. Mm -hmm. Colonel Lee's having your troop join us. Should be here by tonight. Yes, sir. Our quarters here aren't as spacious as the ones we had at Fort Stoddard, Lieutenant. We'll be crowded. I'll have no choice but to put you in with two other officers. It'll do. I'll try to make the campaign against Black Cat as brief as possible, sir. You have my assurance that Captain Dudley and I will give you all the help you need, sir. Thank you, sir. I'm sure Captain Dudley and I will get along all right. Perhaps. I hope so. Though he's not a man who forgets things easily. As for me, I don't harbor any past resentments, Lieutenant, nor to Susan. You see, she told me the truth. Truth, sir? She admitted that she asked you to ride with her that night outside the fort, and that what happened was as much her fault as yours. The gossips blamed you, and there's little Susan or I could do about it. It isn't always easy for a man to know just what a girl expects or wants. Sir, Susan had absolutely no reason to... My daughter has lived around men in army camps all her life, Lieutenant. She's a decent girl, but she's not a shrinking violet. Let's just say that she was impulsive and you were presumptuous and forget the matter. Thank you, sir. She's engaged to marry Captain Dudley now, and there it all ends. Yes, sir. Fellas rolled in and shot the lock off the guardhouse door, plugged the prisoner, too. They got themselves holed up inside. Wilson. All right, my lunch, Lou. Don't none of you try and take us. He paid us to do it. Wilson did. And he had a right. Them Indians got his wife and kid. Wilson had a right. Can't even find their bodies. But if Black Cat's gone alive, I wish they was dead. How bad is it? The Indian was hit in both legs, Colonel. Sergeant, take this man to the doctor. Yes, sir. That prisoner is one of Black Cat's men. We were counting on him giving us information. He'll tell us nothing now. You've had him three days and he hasn't told you a thing. Wilson can hardly be blamed, sir. Not after what happened to his family. 
May I speak, sir? The Black Cat situation is in your hands, Lieutenant. Any prisoner we take is entitled to protection. That's Army law. If you'd kill that Indian, I'd see you hang. Who are you, soldier? Have him put away that gun and I'll talk. Stay where you are, all of you. We're leaving the fort. Then you'll leave without your guns. We're private citizens, soldier. We don't take your orders. Now we can talk. Taking matters into your own hands won't help. There's more happening in those mountains than you know about. But it concerns all of us. All of us here. Not just you or your troubles. Where do you live? I got a ranch up at the Cayula Waterhole. Stay there. And keep out of our way. If your wife and son are still alive, we'll get them back. That's all. I'll clear out. Wilson supplied a lot of provisions for this camp, sir. He deserves better treatment. He gets paid for those provisions, Captain. We had our chance with Black Cat, Captain Dudley. Lieutenant Elliot gets every cooperation. Yes, sir. Newly arrived officers usually dine at headquarters the first night. Uh, well, of course, Lieutenant. Uh, we'll expect you. I'll see what delicacies I can find for dinner. I do all the cooking for my father. You see, I can do other things besides get a man into trouble. Um, I have a lot of important matters I'd like to discuss with you, Colonel, if you, uh, if you have the time now. Why, certainly, Lieutenant. The rest of the Lippins in that village were taken somewhere by the Seminoles. I'm afraid Black Cat's doing more than just hide from you, Colonel. Yes, guns. Where he gets them, I don't know. But I'm afraid we'll never get close enough to him to find out what he's up to. Well, there's one person who might know. Wilson's wife. If she's still alive to tell it. As a prisoner among other prisoners, she may have learned a lot. In heaven's name, Lieutenant, we've scarred these mountains trying to find her. If we could capture some of Black Cat's people, Black Cat would make an exchange of prisoners. He'll do anything to keep his people out of our hands. You believe Black Cat's really in Devil Pass, Lieutenant? Yes, sir. Think you could crystallize your plans by tonight? Well, there's a possibility. If I could study the maps of the terrain this afternoon. Here they are, Lieutenant. That'll be all. Thank you, sir. A workable plan, Lieutenant. If Black Cat will be fooled by your diversionary tactics. He'll have no other choice, sir. My force will present a threat to him. He'll have to come out to attack, leaving Devil Pass weakly defended. And Captain Dudley can go into the pass with a small party and take the hostages. Then if your troop arrives tonight, you'll leave in the morning, huh? Right, sir. Better have it out with her, Elliot, before this turns into a mess. I have nothing to say, sir. She's ready to explode. So are you. So is Dudley. Dudley once threatened to kill you because of that night at Fort Stoddard. If he loses his temper again, I can't answer for him. Captain has more sense than that, sir. Has he? I wish I were so sure. The man's head over heels in debt. He's like a spring drawn too tight. He's her choice. Yes, yes, I know. And the only thing holding up the marriage is his debts. Susan insists that he pay those off first. Eh, every day he gets more nervous, more irritable. And with you here, he might... Uh, who knows? You mean something to her, Cam. Infatuation, perhaps. Danger, maybe. She's been raised on danger. But whatever it is, it's affected her normal feelings towards Dudley. She's not sure of herself. Cam? If you're going to be worse for her than Dudley, get out of her life and stay out. I've already been worse for her. Be frank with me, son. You love her. I don't know. I know I wanted her then, and well, I want her now. Maybe love means other things, though. Well, thanks for your honesty. 
Perhaps that explains the way Susan feels, too. Yes, sir. Uh, Lieutenant, you're sending Captain Dudley into Devil Pass with a small force of men. If your plan should misfire, he could be killed. You'd be blamed. I thought of that, sir. Still want to go through with it? He's a soldier, sir. But I'll do all in my power to see that he doesn't get killed. Good night, sir. Good night. You finished with Dad? Uh-huh. You had a lot to talk about? Yeah, a lot. I wanted to know if I... if I loved you. It's a little late for such a question, isn't it? What did you tell him? Nothing much. You're going to marry Dudley. Cam, why didn't you ask me to marry you at Fort Stoddard? The Colonel's daughter doesn't marry a half-breed. But you made love to me. Any man would want to do that. Thanks. I think that's a compliment. Do you think because we fight the Indian people, I hate them? I don't even hate Black Cat. I can understand why he's fighting. So can Dad. But they've got to try to understand us, too. If more people felt like that, there'd be no Indian wars. It's a big country, Cam. There's room for everybody. You know, it's too bad Black Cat can't hear some of your ideas. Right now, it's more important that you've heard them. If I kissed you now, it would start all over again. Isn't that the way it's supposed to be? Let Dudley answer that. Cam. Got here on time. Maybe it's just as well. Figured you'd make it, Chris. I told my men you'd make it all right. They said they could do anything an officer could do. <laughs> <laughs> Any trouble? No, I didn't see nothing but rattlesnakes in that country we came across. Lieutenant, meet my brother Tony. Darn fool signed up for a hitch in San Antonio. Welcome, Tony. Thank you, sir. What's he packing? Violin. Plays real good. That's his business. Join the army as a hobby. <laughs> and Chun! Colonel Hanna, sir, I'd like to present Sergeant Christopher Zenova. Captain Dudley, Sergeant Christopher Zenova. Not much room here, Sergeant. You'll have to do the best you can at the barracks. Yes, sir. That's all. Lieutenant Elliott will give you your orders. Very good, sir. Forward! Hello! I'll brief the men, sir, if you'll uh, brief Captain Dudley on our plans. Very well. Good night, Lieutenant. Good night, sir. Good night, Captain. Good night. Captain Dudley, Lieutenant Elliott's plan is for you to capture the hostages. If you're successful, it'll give me a basis on which to recommend your promotion. Yes, sir. Good night, sir. Good night, Colonel. We hadn't wasted no time, that's for sure. But knowing Black Hat had guns didn't give us any time to waste. We was setting a trap, and I don't reckon any of us felt too good about being the bait. Oh! Oh! Well, this is where we separate, Captain. Make no attempt to enter Devil Pass until you hear gunfire from below. Then you'll know that Black Cat has attacked us. Good luck to you, sir. And to you, Lieutenant. Forward! Forward! What do we do 
now. They're splitting up. Captain Dudley's in command. We'll follow him. now. Black Cat's gonna come out. He'll come out quick. Stay close to me, kid. There's a river the other side of those trees. If he hits us, we'll take up position there. River crossing. River crossing. River crossing. What's going on down there? We'll stay with the captain. Kid. If I live long enough. Sure more noise than a symphony. Yeah, they got a bigger orchestra than we have. So keep your head down. <laughs> sir? Yeah, maybe twice. Just wet your whistle, kid. Drink too much water and the sun will cook your gizzard. Let's get higher. Mount. What do you suppose is going on down there? We'll wait here and find out.
Skatina. Your men, see what's in that room. Yes, sir. Confiscate any ammunition you find. Any of you people speak English? Many of us speak your tongue. Your name? Malawa. Malawa? Black cat squaw. You and your boy come with us. Your people will not be hurt. Where do you take me? To Fort Clark. You and your boy will be set free when the Wilson woman and her son are returned unharmed. Four new rifles, Captain. The latest make. Better than the ones we have. They're good ones, all right. I can't figure out where they get them. Something else, Captain. A blonde woman and a child. Mrs. Wilson was a blonde. Yes, sir. Tell me the truth. Was it the Wilson woman? <coughs> Tell me the truth. It was the Wilson woman and her little one. Bring him along, Sergeant. child on a horse. The men will take turns riding double. Yes, sir. What are you doing here, Wilson? Not making any trouble, Captain. Just searching the way we've been doing the past couple of weeks. You followed me. It's my wife and boy you're looking for, Captain Dudley. Just thought we might be of some help. I'm afraid I have bad news for you. You found him? We're not entirely sure. You know what my wife looked like. She, they've been scalped. I'm sorry. If they were still alive, we might have gotten them back with these hostages, black cat, squaw, and son. No call to take them in now. Can I talk to you a minute, Captain? Alone? Sure. What are you going to do with them redskins? That decision is up to Colonel Hanna. We're taking them in. What's the use? Why not let me have them? You? You can't get my wife and boy back with them now. You've got no need for prisoners. Just turn them loose. That's all you have to do. You owe me a lot of money, Captain. I know you stuck up for me at the fort, and I ain't forgetting it. But I'd be willing to cancel out your whole debt in exchange for her. No. Colonel Hanna might find out about it. How could he? You and I are the only ones who know about it. As for your excuse, you can say you found the scalps and you didn't see any reason to bring back the hostages. Who can question that, Captain? What are you going to do with them? You going to worry about what happens to a couple of murdering redskins? All right, Wilson. You made a good deal, Captain. Tell the Colonel that's the way I feel about it. My wife and kid are gone, and nothing's going to bring them back. Using women and children, that's engine style. We ain't engines. Tell him I'm plumb grateful for the way you boys got out and hustled. I'm just sorry that we were too late, Wilson. Maybe be seeing you at 4 o'clock in a week or so. Got business south. Let the woman go, the child, too. You're not taking them in, Captain? You are in my orders. There's no point in it now. Perhaps we can reach Clark by nightfall. Yes, sir.
We will argue no more, High Cloud. To charge the White Eyes on the rocks again. We would only lose more men and fail. We will wait until tonight. An Indian chief did not make war at night. The sun god would be angry. Since my father was a white man, perhaps the sun god will only be half angry. Why have you left the canyon? Only I of all the women could ride swift. What enough. has happened? Squaw and little one of Black Cat have been killed. Aloha. How? Soldiers from the fort came to the caves and took her. Later we found her and the boy. The knives of the white eyes. <laughs> now will you charge the rocks? No. There is a different way. Then we will retreat now like women. We will leave. But first, there is something I must do. Do not go until I return. See anything? Nope. Chicken that tarantula just minding his own business. Boys are getting restless, Lieutenant. How long are you going to sit this one out? We give the captain as much time as possible. Could be he'll bring reinforcements from the fort. Maybe. It'll take another 12 hours if he does. I wish words with my brother, Gray Eagle. Gray Eagle? I ain't heard you call that in years. It must be Black Cat himself. Under a flag of truce. Hold your fire! Black Cat, this is Cam Elliott. You won't be fired on. What do you want? Come out where I can see you so we may speak as brothers. Keep saying brother. Getting to be a real family affair. You going down there? Black Cat respects the flag of truce as much as we do. There won't be any tricks. Cat. I hoped never to make war on Grey Eagle. But you have come to find me as an enemy. I'm not known as Grey Eagle in the U.S. Army, Black Cat. Each man goes by his own lights. And sometimes it is hard for a man to stay with those lights, no matter where it may lead. I came here to ask you a question, Grey Eagle, and you must answer me with words of truth. I have no reason to lie to you about anything. I believe you, my brother. Soldiers from Fort Clark killed my wife and son at Devil Pass today. What? Were you responsible for... I know nothing about this. We set a trap here to draw you out of the pass so we could get hostages to exchange for Mrs. Wilson and her boy. It would have done you no good. Mrs. Wilson was killed when she tried to stab one of our women. Her boy died when he tried to help her. There was nothing I could do. But Malawa was harming no one. The Seminoles were talking of a new treaty with Colonel Hanna. Now there will be no treaty. We will keep fighting in every way we can. Goodbye, my brother. Goodbye, Black Cat. Get the men down and start rounding up the horses. All right, man, let's go! It's all over? Just the beginning. Black Cat claims Captain Dudley's outfit killed his wife and son. What? 
Look. Stay with the wounded. Wounded fourth! Group forward! Sir? Less than an hour ago. He's taken Susan with him. Susan? But why, Cam? Revenge, sir. Black Cat thinks that his wife and son were murdered by Captain Dudley and his men. Murdered? In heaven's name, Elliot. We took them, but we realized there was no point bringing them in. Mrs. Wilson and the child were dead. Then who could have killed them? Wilson. It must have been Wilson. He followed us. Wilson? With a man like that in the vicinity, you left that woman and child alone? You acted like a fool, Captain. I never should have allowed Wilson to leave the fort. The issue lay with your judgment yesterday, Captain Dudley. You knew he was dangerous. Cam, you know Black Cat. What will he do to her? Miss Hannah will be of great value to them, sir. She's a woman, a beautiful woman. She'll buy many guns. You think they sell their prisoners? They don't have money to buy guns, Captain. Colonel, my guess is that Black Cat will try to take his people south. Across the Capote Desert. Impossible. There's not a trace of water for over 500 miles. Indians have ways of crossing that desert without water, Captain. I don't know how they do it, but they sure do it. Captain Dudley, give me that map over there. Now, the key to the march would be San Esteban Lake. It runs bone dry in mid-August, sometimes earlier. Colonel, my men could carry enough water to catch up with Black Cat. If Captain Dudley could meet us at the lake with water, on our return, we could make it. Very well, Lieutenant. Just how long am I supposed to wait in that desert for your forces? Give me 72 hours. You're not back by then? Well, you know we're not coming back. You have full authority to use whatever tactics you think best, Lieutenant. Thank you, sir. Lieutenant, you arranged that very nicely for yourself. Did I? You're fully aware that the only way a half-breed could get anywhere in this army is by marrying the right woman. I could be court-martialed for hitting a superior officer. You'd like that to happen, wouldn't you, Captain? He was off again. I have known Cam Elliott a long time. It always seems that wherever he goes, there's trouble. And me mooching along, thinking this time can never be as bad as the last. Chris Zenoba's younger brother, Tony, was left with Captain Dudley in the water barrels about 15 miles back, figuring this was going to be a mite too rough for the boy. So now we was on our own. All we had to do was get over the Capote Desert Capture Black Cat, get back Susan Hannah, and make it back to Dudley's supply train without dying of thirst or a seven old bullet. Nearest I could see, didn't aim to be no church social.
much further to go. I can't write anymore. I just can't. Please. We've been riding since morning. We only stopped because you're a woman and need rest. You may sleep for two hours. I won't be able to sleep. My legs hurt. Rub them. They will be all right. But... Rub them. An injured woman is worth nothing to me. Do as I say. When your legs are better, we will ride again. Won't you tell me where you're taking me? Tomorrow we will rejoin the other people of my tribe. The day after that, you will see for yourself where we're taking you. My father will find you. I will be ready for him. See if you can stand now. You are a woman of much beauty. It is strange that your father, who is my enemy, gave you such fairness. Or now it will destroy him. We camped the troop for the night, and then Cam, Chris, and me took a walk around to see what kind of defense we could make if we was attacked. And this is what we found. You think maybe they're the scalps of Black Cat, Squaw, and Kid? That's my guess. Only a dozen figure. How did Wilson get into Black Cat's hideout without Captain Dudley knowing it? Interesting question. Any opinions? Nothing that'll make me like Captain Dudley any better. Well, we'll find out in due time. After the men rest, order a detail to bury them. We found out later this is where Black Cat had taken Susan. A place that the Seminoles call the Valley of Tears. Good name for it. Why do I have to wear this? My dress is torn, but it's still good. Answer me, you can talk. I'll answer you. This is as far as we go. We're going to stay here in this valley? For a while. There is only one way in, through the canyon leading into this valley. Even if your soldiers find the canyon, my braves will stop them from coming through. But you still haven't told me why I have to dress like an Indian squaw. You are a prisoner. You will be traded for guns and ammunition to white men who will meet us here. Paiutes, Navajos, Lipans. We capture them and trade them for guns here in this valley every August. You dare to sell me? Like an animal? These men own silver mines and must have slaves to work in them. But you are a handsome woman. One of the younger men will pay well for you. This is a valley of sadness, Miss Hannah. We call it the Valley of Tears. The Valley of Misery. We send slaves to the misery of whips and hard labor. Then we take the guns we have traded for them and go back to our misery. But the white men have offered you an honorable peace. You could send your children to schools. And... Peace. Peace we would accept, but not the slow death of a reservation. Will the sons of the Seminoles forgive you for having kept them from becoming civilized? I no longer have a son. Fanny's feet show sure gets tired riding all day. Well, we know where the entrance to the valley is, Cam. But ain't we standing a good chance of getting ambushed if we try to go through? Black Cat could hold us off without too much trouble, all right. If we went through. If? I had a good look at the rock formations around there today. We're not going through, we're going over. Over? Uh-huh. If we can get to the top, we can see what's happening down below. 
I'd sure hate to get trapped on top of them table rocks. Still better than just walking head on into an ambush. Hmm. We'll let the men sleep another four hours and then pull out. That should get us to the base of the cliff while it's still dark. We'll leave the horses there and start climbing. Better get some sleep. The lieutenant split up the troop into small details and had him take different trails up to the top. He knowed that when you fought engines, it was a good idea not to put all your eggs in one basket. <laughs> Only trouble with this kind of fight. My ma didn't raise me up to be no mountain goat. are coming in all right. Good. We went up that canyon and we'd have been slaughtered. Black Cat's got his brave spotted all up there. Any the sign of that village? No. It must be further up in the valley. Better hold up here until we make sure. Chris, take some of your men and gather up all the rocks and wood they can find. Better make it fast. Might have spotted us by now. Yes, sir. through the canyon. They are on top of the mesas. My brother is a good officer. Attack them. Get them down. Around us. Spence! Take your men and cover the back trails. Yes, sir. Chris, see that your men hold position. Yes, sir. Detail, follow me! Take your position, man! Start fire!
say if you can't go down there alone. You don't stand a chance of fighting Black Cat. None of us will stand a chance if I don't. Bottled up and bottled up tight. There's a trail along this side. Maybe I can stay out of sight till I hit bottom. It's the first time you ever went out looking for trouble and left me behind. You'll have all the trouble you can handle right here. Take it. Maybe she'll like meeting up with Black Cat. Lieutenant Elliot! They're coming up, sir. Get in the cliff wall. All right, the rocks first. now, sir? Light him up. That'll keep him busy and give me a chance to get down. I'm expecting you to bring my knife back. I'll try. Light him up, boy. Take the charges, man! On the devil! I found you alone, Grey Eagle. I could kill you now, Black Cat. There has been enough killing. Every time I see a man die, I ask myself why. Why was that man killed? What are your terms of surrender? You asking for peace? If you want to call it that, yes. My orders were to bring you back to Fort Clark. Your people are to go back to the reservation immediately. I agree. Where's the Colonel's daughter? She's in the valley. She is unharmed. It's not like you to give up so easy. Many fathers have died today. Their children will not thank me. The war is over. So we started back over the Capote Desert with Black Cat and Susan Hannah. But the war wasn't quite over. Now it was a battle with the sun. We still had to reach Captain Dudley in his barrels of water.
Captain Dudley! Yes? One of the barrels leaked during the night, sir. How did it happen? How much water have we got left? Hardly enough for ourselves. That barrel was for Lieutenant Ellie. He's already a day and a half overdue. We wouldn't accomplish anything by staying out here and dying of thirst ourselves. We'll start back for the fort after breakfast. Tell the men to get ready. Yes, sir. All right, men, saddle up. We're pulling out in a little while. We can't leave. Not yet. C Captain Dudley, sir. Yes? You gave orders to break camp. I'm perfectly aware of my orders, Private Zanova. But Lieutenant Elliott's company won't have enough water to reach the fort, sir. Even if he were to show up now, there's no water. You saw that barrel. If we shared ours with them, sir, they'd be able to you get You probably back. haven't been in the Army long enough to know, Private Zanova. Every man obeys the orders of his superior officer, without question. My brother's with Lieutenant Elliott, and they're all going to die. You know that. Are you going to pack your gear, or am I going to recommend a court-martial? Murderer! <laughs> the order, saddle up. Saw you. Yes, sir. Captain, look out! Twenty hours ago, maybe. Captain Dudley pulled out and left us. We're never going to make it. Kid. You, your brother. Tony? No, oh, somebody's joking. Nothing happened here. The captain's company wasn't attacked. Besides, they don't... What's your figure? If we ever get back to Clark, maybe we'll find out. You gonna tell the gal? Fighting's one thing, but when an officer has to tell a man his friend or his brother's dead, or tell a woman her man is gone, I'm kind of glad I never tried to be anything but what I am. That ain't much, but a sleep nights. We kept going without water. It looked like even the weather was a trying to keep us from getting back. Many of the men was walking now, because the horses was too weak to carry them. There was going to be a lot more graves in the Capote Desert before we could reach Fort Clark. What do you expect to find, Gray Eagle? You have taken your Seminoles across this area many times without water. No. There is water here. Where? My brother. I can save the girl and your men. But there is something I wish in return. I want you to set me free. My orders are to take you back to Clark. When water becomes more important to you than orders, I will tell you how to get water. We heard what Black Cat said, Lieutenant. It's our lives against his. Don't seem much sense, all us dying of thirst, just to try to bring him back to Fort Clark. The decision isn't mine, Spence. I'm following orders. It is a brave man who can be stubborn when he is dying. Mount up. We're pulling out. And a pity that their bones should be bleached by the sun, now that the war is finished. Don't count on it, Black Cat. We'll get back to Clark, and you'll stand trial. Forward! Help! Lieutenant! I don't think she can make it, Lieutenant. See if anyone has any water left. I'm sorry, Cam. Better not do it. 
do too much talking. The boys are going to try to scare up some water. If you'd asked me, I would have married you at Port Stoddard camp. Just wanted you to know, I've never cared what you are. Better not say anything you may be sorry for later. Tell her there is no Indian blood in you. My people found you in a wagon. Your mother and father were dead. Strange how simple and easy it sounds, the way he says it. Just a oh. mouthful, maybe. All right, now, easy. Ain't another drop in the hull outfit. We're gonna put you back on your horse now, Susan. Try to keep going. We may be able to catch up with the other troop. All right, Chris. Blake kid. What's that fool Indian up to? Hold on to her. What are you doing here? These strips of hard packed sand are called Cienegas. The Comanches taught me about them. They will save the lives of you and your men. Look. such as you and Miss Henna, who have given their heart to the Indian. What you feel and what you do could never help my people if you were to die here. When your trial comes up, I'll tell them how you helped us. Maybe you'll have what you want. Perhaps. So we follow our lights once again. Water, men! Water! After all the fighting and killing, it felt kind of funny to know we was going to live out our days because of Black Cat. But, like I said, this is a country itching to be tamed, and maybe Black Cat finally realized it had to happen sooner or later. Well, that was that. We knew we was going to make it now. I kind of got in the habit of sharing things with the lieutenant. But I reckon there's some things a man just don't share. 